Good morning, Grand Oaks Grizzlies. I'm Lucas Sablon. And I'm Sydney Long. And welcome to Go TV. Thanks for joining us for Ground News. Please stand and join us for the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. A very special hello, Grand X Grizzlies, from your little cubs in the preschool. As most of you know, we have some very special little Grizzlies on campus, and some of you may be wondering, where are these cuties coming from, or why are they here? These preschoolers are part of our education and training pre-employment program here on campus. We are located directly across from the front office in room 1208. We wanted to t take the opportunity to say thank you for being respectful and aware of our little ears and eyes when you walk down our hallway. We look up to our big grizzlies and want to thank you for using appropriate language and behavior not just down our hallway but anywhere on campus. After all, you are who we want to be when we grow up. We also are grumpy little bears when we don't get our rest, so please be aware that we are resting and napping during the afternoon hours during D-lunch, 7th and 8th periods. We appreciate that you demonstrate our grizzly growl when we see you are great role models for us. We hope you will wave to us when you see us or ask us to give you the best grizzly growl. Thanks very much. Grand Oaks Orchestra would like to invite everyone to their bone chilling fall concert this Tuesday, October 29th at 7 p.m. It is sure to be a spooky, scary affair, complete with music from A Nightmare Before Christmas, Lord of the Rings, and other hair-raising classics performed by many of your favorite characters. Admission is free with Chick-fil-A catering on site for purchase. We look forward to thrilling you. We are starting something new in the library. We will have a quiet day every Wednesday in the library. This will be a day to read, research, study, and relax. We will use quiet voices, too. Please remember this when you visit the library on Wednesdays. National Honor Society members will be having a meeting in 2212 on Tuesday, October 29th at 2.45 p.m. Please bring your arts and crafts items for our Dia de los Muertos Coco themed trunk or treat. Theater will be performing The Tempest this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the Black Box. Tickets are available on School Cash Online or at the door before the show. Seating is limited, so get your ticket early for this amazing show. Congratulations to Hayden Eubank for coming in ninth place at Regional Cross Country Meet. He now qualifies to run at State Meet in Austin on November 9th. Come out tonight and cheer on your volleyball teams for the last game of the regular season. Your varsity team is playoff bound and will clinch the district championship with the win tonight. And we need all of our Grizzlies getting rowdy in the stands. The JV volleyball team looks to complete an undefeated district season, and the freshmen will finish up a successful season as well, with both their games starting at 5 p.m. Varsity will begin at 6 p.m. We hope to see you all there. Oh, and free popcorn and water for all students. Congrats to Cole Alibro for earning his second state qualification for the Texas Forensic Association State Speech and Debate Meet to be held in March. Cole placed first in Humorous Interp, Hadley Atkinson first in Impromptu Speaking, Yasmin Khan sixth in POI, and Reagan Oliver sixth in Impromptu Speaking. The Grand Oaks Speech and Debate team now has nine state qualifications. Student Council wanted to remind you that your future is too bright to mess with drugs. So on Wednesday, wear neon to show how awesome your future is going to be. Also, Student Council will be meeting today after school in Mr. Sherman's room 2118. See you all there. Please remember, Thursday is blackout day. Wear black to blackout drugs, and then there will be a blackout pep rally as well. You've got lots of black clothes, so wear them tomorrow. Friday, Student Council is asking everyone to join the war on drugs by having a class color war. Show your class breaks by wearing the color of your class. Freshmen are wearing gray, sophomores are wearing orange, and juniors are wearing blue. Represent your class and wear your colors on Friday. This completes our news for today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for another Ground News. Thank you for watching GoTV. And remember, it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a Grizzly. grizzly.